hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be making jello fries for you guys and these are what i'm going to use this is two onions two tomatoes and a bell pepper i've got some bell pepper in my blender already i'm just showing you guys how i cut it up and this is a scotch bonnet pepper i'm not going to use all of it i'm going to use half of it and also i'm going to use this one to fry i'm not going to use it to blend it but i'm going to show you guys how i do this so i'm going to chop my red pepper just need to just do them in big chunks because you're going to blend them i'm just showing you guys how i cut my red onions and tomato and red pepper need to cut them you can also use tin tomato one tin tomato if you do not want to use fresh ones but I like to use fresh stuff and put my food you're just cutting them in big chunks because you're gonna blend blend them up So I'm gonna put it in my blender. Here's my blender. Pouring them in. So guys, as you can see, my chop vegetables are in my blender and i'm just gonna add some water in there i'm just gonna add the water just one cup of water because i don't want to put too much water i want it to be really nice and thick i'm gonna also put my cover on there and i'm gonna blend As you blend it once it looks smooth then you can stop blending and you're gonna set it aside to when you're gonna do your jello fries so guys I'm gonna show you now how I do my jello okay, fries so that's five tablespoon of oil in my pot and you do need to use tomato puree you can buy whatever brand you like yeah that's tomato puree you need to use and I dice my onions and I'm gonna fry my onions these are red onions you can always choose to use whatever onion you like I love red onions so I'm using red onions you can use the white ones so you're gonna cook your red onions or your white onions until it's transparent yeah just give it a stir give you a better view Just gonna cover it. So guys, look how that looks. That looks so lovely. So guys, I allow that to saute about five minutes. Now I'm gonna add my vegetables that I blend earlier. That I showed you guys how I blend my vegetable earlier I'm gonna now add it I'm not gonna add all of it because I'm just making a little bit of jello fries just today if I 
actually. I'm adding all of it. <laughs> Makes no sense. I'll move that bit. Yeah. Add all of it. There you go. And give it a stir. Make sure you give it a stir to blend everything. Blend in all that onion, that puree with the vegetable that you blended. So guys, I'm going to show you how I season my jello um, sauce to make my jello fries. So I've got a Noah chicken stock here. I'm going to pop it in. You just need to put one in there. I'm, I'm going to add some. one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning. This is one and a half teaspoon of dry thyme. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add some bay leaves. You can buy whatever bay leaves you like. I'm just going to put about four or five bay leaves in my sauce. I'm going to mix them all together. And you want to do this on a low heat, not too high. Low to medium heat. Give it a good stir. And you can always taste it to see if it's to your liking, the, how much salt you like in your food when you cook. It's always up to you. It's optional with the taste that you like depending on how much salt that you guys like to cook with but I don't like too much salt and seasoning when I cook I'm gonna give it a taste yeah and I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna leave it there to boil down a bit and let the sauce get thick and when the sauce get thick then I will add my rice to it so I'm gonna leave it there for about 15 minutes on a low heat to boil so guys I'm checking on my sauce to see how it's doing do check on your sauce when you're cooking don't just leave it for just a 15 minutes like that do check on it give it a little stir make sure it's not burning make sure it's fine so that's it that's how the sauce look and I'm gonna leave it there 15 minutes hasn't gone yet I'm just giving it a check so guys now that my sauce is getting more big I'm gonna add my rice to it need to make sure that your sauce is thick And do make sure that you wash your rice about three times make sure all the starch is out so that it doesn't stick to the pan and wash your rice until you can see a clean clear water and I'm adding 500 grams of rice Yeah, that's 500 grams of rice and you're gonna stir it make sure you give it a good stir get all that flavor in there you go that's the jello fries now you need to put it on a low heat and cover it and keep watching your jello fries you need to keep stirring it all the time so do 
keep your eye on your jello fries me while you're cooking it until it's finished so I'm gonna leave this here for about five minutes I'm gonna check it again to see what it looks like give it a stir and I'm gonna keep doing that throughout the process until my jello fries is cooked so guys as you can see this is the second time I'm checking on my jello fries and I'm just giving it a stir and this is gonna take up 30 minutes to 45 minutes to be well cooked to be done it's gonna take up to 30 to 45 minutes so guys at this point i'm gonna put some foil to cover my rice so it can be steamed a bit more faster by putting the foil it helps the rice to cook quicker and it reduces the time that the jello fries would take to cook so I'm just going to show you guys how I put my foil inside. You can put however you like, but this is how I'm putting my foil inside. Just to cover it. Cover it. Make sure you cover all that rice. Just to cover it and then you're going to cover the pot. And you're going to leave it to steam for about 15 minutes and then you're going to have a look at it again. Guys, that's how my jello fries look now. So I'm just gonna give it a stir again. As I tell you, you have to keep stirring it. Make sure you give it a good stir. That looks beautiful. That looks so good. So guys, after you give it a good stir, you're gonna then put your foil over it again and you're gonna close it and you're gonna let it steam for another 10 minutes then you check on it again. So guys, that's another 10 minutes and now I think my jollof rice is cooked. So as I said, when you use the foil paper to cover your jello fries to make it steam, it does reduce the time. It does reduce the amount of time it takes to cook your jello fries. And that's it. That's my jello fries cook. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to try this recipe out and let me know what you think of my recipe. Let me know if you enjoy this jello fries recipe this is how i make my jello fries and i like it this way as you can see my jello fries finished cooking and that's it guys jello fries finished cooking looking lovely i'm going to show you guys when i put it in my bowl i'm going to show you how it looks in the bowl but thank you guys for watching my youtube video and i will see you guys soon again when i'm doing another quick and easy recipe thank you there you go guys that's my jello fries there you go that's how my jello fries look that's just the bay leaves i used to cook it i just use it to store a nice little garnish that looks so good I hope you guys do enjoy my recipe. Try it out. Let me know what you think of my jello fries recipe. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you.